All right, thank you guys. Aston Villa takes on Crystal Palace, and that's going to be a 9.15 a.m. Eastern start time. The Villas plus a buck and a quarter, totals two and a half. The draw is plus 225, and the Palace is plus 225 for a win. I went 4-1 yesterday in my five premium sports picks on patreon.com slash brockpage. And, of course, that's a website where I sell sports pick subscriptions beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. We also have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages on that site as well. And once again, one of those packages is called the Daily Best Play Tier Membership as I improved to 9-4 in my last 13 picks in that category after Friday's wagering. And of course, that's good for 69% during that span. If you want to check out the website, maybe browse a little bit, check out my current record. You actually have access to that right now. You can do it for free. Link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, Crystal Palace is coming fresh off a loss in their last outing, but it was to a very good third-place Chelsea team where they played them to a very competitive 3-2 finish. And despite a little bit of a rough patch in their last four matches, they still have been victorious in four out of their last eight. Now, their four losses came at the hands of third-place Chelsea, fourth-place Leicester, and ninth-place Burnley. So a really tough stretch there going through the gauntlet. And they also lost to the first-place Premier League champions, Liverpool, during that span. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Meanwhile, their four victories during that eight-game stretch, they all came by way of shutout. Now, on the other side, this favored Aston Villa squad... They're coming fresh off a 3-0 shutout loss to Manchester United in their last outing themselves. And as a matter of fact, their last three outings all resulted in shutout losses. Aston's winless in their last 11 straight, and they were held scoreless in seven of those meetings. Aston Villa has averaged just half a goal a game in their last 10 contests. They're currently in 19th place out of 20 teams in the EPL. And they were victorious in only 7 out of 34 outings. Aston also ranks second to last in the league in total goals allowed. And when it comes to the total in this one, 3 out of Aston Villa's last 4 stayed under the total of 2.5 goals. Meanwhile, 7 out of Crystal Palace's last 11 stayed under that number as well. Give me Crystal Palace on the double chance. And the under two and a half in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and once again welcome you to the video. Got some lines of personal leans out for Sunday's international soccer action. But before we dive into some more of that, I just have to quickly remind you that after Friday's sports wagering action, we went four and one in our five premium selections on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And of course, that's a website where I sell sports pick subscriptions beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. There's also a bunch of different great memberships, tiers, and packages uh, that you can subscribe to. And one of those packages, uh, like I said earlier, it's called the Daily Best Play Tier Package. It's only $1.99 to sign up, and we are 9-4 and four in our last 13 picks in that category. And uh, we're starting to really heat up here, guys. I strongly recommend you at least consider using the website for sports picks. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now moving on, we're going to dive into some more international soccer action here. And we're going to dive into the Spanish La Liga. I'm talking about Leganes taking on Valencia, 1.30 p.m. Eastern kickoff. Valencia is the plus money favorite at plus $1.35. Totals two and a half juice to the under. The draw is plus 220. And if you like Leganes in an upset, they're plus 215 to win it. Now, Leganes has scored just three goals in their last eight matches. They've also been victorious in only two out of their last 13. And they were held scoreless in seven of those outings. Leganes is in 19th place out of 20 teams in Spanish La Liga. They're averaging just 0.71 goals per contest on the season, which ranks dead last in that statistic. Leganes also ranks 13th in total goals allowed. Leganes has garnered themselves outright victories in only 6 out of 35 total contests on the season. 
They're taking on a Valencia squad who's coming off a nice 2-1 victory over Valladolid. They're just three points behind sixth place Getafe in the standings as well. They're 13-11 on the season with 11 draws. Valencia has garnered themselves marquee wins over the likes of Barcelona and Villarreal this season. And when it comes to the total in this one, four out of Valencia's last six stayed under the total of two and a half goals. Six out of their last nine league matches also stayed under that number. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, Laganas saw their last two straight stay under the two and a half themselves. Five out of their last seven also stayed under that total. Give me Valencia winning this one outright and the under two and a half in that contest. All right, next matchup I have for you. It is going to be in Italian Serie A. I'm talking about Napoli squaring off against AC Milan, 3.45 p.m. East. Napoli's the plus money favorite. They're plus a buck 15. Totals two and a half juice to the over. The draw's plus 240. And if you like AC Milan in an upset, they're plus 235 for an outright win. AC Milan's coming fresh off a very impressive 4-2 victory over first place Juventus. They also shut uh, they also shut out second place Lazio by the final of 3-0 before that. Essentially, they beat uh, you know the first and second place team in the league. Uh, by an ag- uh, uh, let's try to let's try that again by an aggregate of seven to two, this Milan club hasn't lost a match in their last five straight, and they scored 15 total goals during that span. They've only dropped two out of their last 14 and ranked sixth in total goals allowed. They're taking on a Napoli squad who's having a real solid season themselves, although they did manage uh, to lose to seventh place Lecce and 13th place Fiorentina earlier in the year and when it comes to the total in this one three out of Napoli's last four got over the total of two and a half goals five out of AC Milan's last six league games got over that number themselves give me AC Milan double chance and the over two and a half in that contest all right next and final matchup for the show it is going to be in the English championship I'm talking about Swansea squaring off against Leeds United 8 30 a.m east Leeds is the dollar forty-three favorite. Totals two and a half juice to the over. The draw is plus two ninety. And if you like Swansea in an upset, they're plus three fifty for some money line cash. Swansea has been victorious in just four out of their last fourteen matches, and they were held scoreless in five of those meetings. They were held scoreless by twenty-third place Luton, sixteenth place QPR, and twentieth place Stoke City. Swansea's taking on a very powerful lead squad who's coming off a 5-0 dismantling of Stoke City in their last outing themselves. They also beat Blackburn 3-1 in their outing before that. Leeds hasn't lost a match in their last four straight, and they dropped just one out of their last 11 with seven shutouts during that stretch. Leeds is currently tied with West Brom for first place in the league, and they rank third in scoring. And speaking of the scoring in this matchup here, three out of Leeds' last four got over the total of two and a half goals. Three out of Swansea's last five got over the two and a half themselves. Give me Leeds United winning this one outright and the over two and a half goals in that match. All right, moving on, we're going to dive into some shout outs and from our Patreon platform. Shout out to Chris Stevenson, Greg Gant, Patrick Martinez, Larry Brown, George Page, Quadruple G, Victor Paulino, Brad Zableski, Eric Rodriguez, and Tony Isagire. Next from our Instagram platform, shout out to Renat Rinzenat, Keaton Johnston, Bubba Jonesy, Will Slade, Sonia Uzgatten. Also want to give a shout out to Cody Dunlap, uh, Production uh, Pocket Knife, uh, Mo Sear, Andrade, Paul S., uh, Paul F., excuse me, and Asifa Kazi. And finally, from our YouTube platform, shout out to Chris Meza, David Arango, Tommy T, Get a King, GTA Gamer Girl, SOP Striker, Pete Hesse, Domingo Alves, Roy Munson, and last but not least, good friend of mine, good old pal, got to give a shout out to my man, Irv Thornton. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, Once again, uh, if you decide to pull the trigger on one of my Patreon packages, We'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month 
following that. So if you sign up today, you'll get billed today as an initial sign up fee, and then you will get billed on the 1st of August. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Saturday or Sunday to you, depending on when you're watching this. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.